Howdy guys, welcome back to the Seattle Kraken franchise. We just had our second year draft and it was a pretty solid draft overall. Um, I might at the end actually after the re-signs we'll go look at our roster and look at our rookies we drafted and things of that nature. Might look at them as we're going through signings. But uh, we're going to go ahead and sim to the re-sign phase. And let's see, we have nine skaters that are about to come RFAs. Pavel Zaka is one of them. That's a guy we're going to have to re-sign. All right, yep, know all that stuff. All right, let's go into contracts. All right, let's be real simple about this. Let's go position by position. And let's start with our centers. Our Sorelli is on the last year of his deal, and then he's going to want a big boy contract. That might be a guy that we may want to look to actually move on from. I know that sounds blasphemous, considering he had, what is that, uh, 61 points last year, so... But he might want a big boy contract. Just curious. Can I offer him an extension? No, that's a buyout. Never mind. Don't want a buyout player. All right. So Zaka is gonna want is gonna be willing to take a hometown discount to stay with us. So let's see what Zaka wants, and let's see how much money we have to offer. Okay, we have thirty three million in cap space. I want to save some of that for free agency. Obviously, I'd like to have about twenty million going into free agency. Maybe less because you do have a floor you have to worry about. So he's wanting a one-year deal at 3.375. Um, well, it's kind of well. No, I'm not. That's the guy I want to resign long term. So let's negotiate with Domi first, because Domi is the guy I really want to land to get that first line clicking. He wants just a one-year deal at 3.45. What if I crank up the years? What does we get to four? Okay, so he, okay, so he kind of peters out there. All right. Um. Oh, Domi. Domi only wants a one-year deal. I really don't want to go. I mean, but uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of probably need to. I'll give him three point five because he doesn't want to sign a, a deal here. I'm gonna give him three point five for a year to get that line clicking. He's probably hoping to get a big boy contract after this year, which I, you know what, more power to him. Have a good year, and then go out there and get you, get your money. So I mean, I can understand that from his standpoint. Uh, Zaka, 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 offer contract 3.3 over a year. I think you'd take 3.25. Yeah, I think you'd take 3.25. So that's about, say, 7. 3.5, 3.25. That's We'll say 7 just to round it up. So that's 7 mil of my 33. Gordon's not going to want a ton. Yeah, he's a two-way deal. Matter of fact, I'll just offer him an RFA because he'll probably sign the RFA. Glendinning wants to resign. What's he want? He wants a one-way deal. And how much? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Glendinning, you were great in the AHL for us, but I think I'm gonna let you. Uh, I think I'm gonna let you test free agency, good sir, because uh, no, I don't. I don't don't really need it. Dowd. Okay, this is the guy I want to bring back, but I got to bring him back at the right price point. Oh, that's d what? What? Good sir, are you out of your mind? Okay, yeah, you're definitely gone. For three million, you can hit the bricks, buddy, bro. Wow, what a ridiculous. Oh, another one. Oh no, <laughs> two jar. No. Uh, uh, I can't put you on the le I can't put you on the second line. I can maybe. I have an opening on my third line. I did trade uh, Philippe Chidel. You know what? Yeah. You want two million for two years, Jujar Kyra, my playoff stud from the AHL. You're getting two million for two years. May not be the uh, the grinders assemble line, but Dad burn it. We're gonna put it back together. All right, what do you want, Darlene? You probably just want garbage contract, right? Yeah, uh, RFA tag. Boom, done. All right, Rati. Rati, Rati, Rati. He's a 68 overall. He could potentially play, but I think I'm going to let him go a year. Uh, because if you if you let these players kind of just hang out, they will play, especially younger guys that were CHL guys. This guy, I believe, was a CHL guy. Uh, he will go back and play in the juniors. So I'd rather him, these two guys play and not be signed to me than, than worry about them. Okay, Gabriel Dennis. 
is a okay i'm not gonna sign you yet most of these guys i'm probably just gonna let go to free agency honestly maybe sign him maybe just because he's ahl top six high which means he could break bottom six um and he's 20 but we'll see what was his what was his face offs 73 we'll see it depends on what else i got going on maybe a guy i could plug in there the uh as depth for the ahl squad uh, if I need some roster spots. All right, so that's all my centers. Left wingers. I don't think I have a ton. Okay, Pierre Ingvall's going to need a home. Oh, Pierre Ingvall's going to need a home. He's a really good passer, too. Where do he fit in the... Uh... Oh, I won't be able to see that anymore. Dad, burn it. Okay, what do you want for a contract, Pierre? 1.6 for two years. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna qualify you, and I'm hoping we'll we'll see we'll see what happens with that. Jankowski is an is a UFA, so I've got to offer him a deal. He wants league minimum league minimum for fourth line. You're you're on, dude. Done, signed. All right, <clears throat> Giovanni Smith, another grinder that I was gonna put on the third line. What do you want for a contract? Nine hundred fifty thousand one way deal. I'll qualify all for you because I think I could put you in the AHL another year. Uh, bottom, low bottom six. Still a minor scoring forward. Doesn't really fit our scheme, but he was a good AHL player. So I think I'm going to qualify him for the AHL. That's an AHL player right there. All right, these guys aren't ready yet, so I'm going to let them kind of just linger. Uh, Copstals is probably just going to go by the wayside. Uh, Kaminsky, that was the guy we picked up. That's third round pick. Olison was a fourth round, no, second round pick. Lysol was a second round pick. Eskalainen was a fourth round pick. So that was his stuff. I don't know if I ever looked at him. Uh, that's all my wingers. So offered. Still got to go a day and see if they take the offer. All right, Stefan Neeson, what do you want? Uh, you want big boy contract and you want to play in the NHL. Oh, you actually, well, you're wanting fourth line time. And I don't know, I don't know if I need to give you fourth line time. Okay, Dominic Simon, I'm going to move on from. Done. Carter Ashton. Really good playoff run. Really good season, honestly. Playoff stats. Yeah, he didn't have the greatest playoff as compared to his line mates. But compared to Jujar, ain't nobody on that line had a good playoff. But. He had a good season there on the third line. I mean, what was that? 16 goals, 22 assists? I mean, what do you want? What do you? I mean, that's two years. Oh, I don't know if I want to give you two years. I don't know if I want to give you two years. Tell you what, I'll give you 800000 for a year. How's that? We'll, we'll make that work. McCarron, what's McCarron want? He wants a two-way deal down there in the AHL. Yeah, good AHL player. I'll take that. So... Trying to keep that AHL team together. I'm going to look at Neeson and see if I can fit him up here in the NHL. Uh, actually, the best way to do that would be, look and see. Okay, Anderson's second line. Hinostro's a third line. Neal is third line. Who's our fourth line? Our fourth line was Dowd, who's gone. Um, Austin Watson, who's going to be in the AHL anyway because he's now a minor check forward. Um for 1.5 so he could take he could take that spot durability of 74 yeah and he's he's a guy who i could plug yeah you know what you'll become the new austin watson right winger okay that's fine i'll give you that i'll give you that i kind of probably gotten you a little bit of a discount but i'll, I'll just pay you what you want because 1.4 is not terrible kulikov and stanley stanley's definitely getting re-signed Okay, you want another two-way deal? Okay, that's fine. You need to be in the a AHL another year anyway. Okay, I'm going to look at those guys in a second. Kulikov, what do you want at 30 years old? 2.15 for two years at 30. And already at 80 overall, top six. He's playing, he'd be playing second line ice, or second defensive pairing for me. Uh, I feel like... I feel like I could find... Okay, so let's see. Gossip Spear is first. Carlo is going to be on the first. Or do I put Hamonic up there? 
Might put Hamonic up there and put Carlo on back on the second defensive pairing. Uh, but I want him to grow, so I kind of want him to put him up there. But what, what, these two could alternate. But essentially, first line, second line pairing is right there. Forbert has been our second line defensive pairing. Um, and has and didn't have a bad year. I mean, seven goals, ten assists. Nah, Kulikov, we don't need you. Golly, we don't need him. We just don't need him. All right, and then in the AHL, I got a bunch of these guys down here. Uh, Dotchin. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. One of you guys is going to stick around. You're a lefty. I got McCotchin. Oh, Stanley's a lefty, isn't he? Okay, so McDermott's out because I don't need another lefty. Hockenpah, so it's between Hockenpah and Dotchin, and I think I'm going to keep Hockenpah. So release, McDermott, you're out. Hockenpah, you're in, even though you're the oldest of the bunch. Uh, you might actually become the seventh defenseman. Who knows? Okay, Jordy Ben is done. He, he's done. His 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 career's over. Um, so we got Summerby, McCaution, who still has not grown. That's going to be disappointing. I'm going to be disappointed in that, aren't I? And goalies. Okay, not going to sign you, but what do you want? Yeah, I'm not signing you. So go go away. Go have fun. All right. I don't care if you lost morale because he's released. He was terrible. You guys knew him for like three months. Come on. Seriously? Well, Austin Watson's going to be in the AHL anyway. It doesn't matter. He's a goober. All right, let's advance a day and see who we re-sign. Logan Stanley re-signed. Oh, Hockenpah rejected. What? Uh, I feel I may be better suited to a team without so many players competing for playtime at my position. Uh, oh, Max Domi signed on a one-year deal. Jujar Kara signed. Pavel Zaka signed. Jankowski signed. Neeson signed. Carter Ashton signed. So we only had one guy not signed. It was Hockenpah of all players. Defenseman Hockenpah. All right, I'll give you one million. You're going to play in the age. Well, I, I'll tell you what. We can put you up in the. We'll put you up in the big leagues. You'll be the seventh defenseman anyway, so it doesn't matter. What is, what is your role? What do you want to be? You're minor top two, so you could barely play at this level. Uh, sure, offer a contract. We'll give them one mil to be on the... Uh, we got to have a lot of cap space. We got 26.9 left. Wow, okay. So we're going to be in good shape cap-wise. We're not hurting for cap. We have four goalies under contract. That's pretty solid. Um, I wish I wouldn't have got him. That's the only thing. Uh, no, I'm not buying him out. I'll just let him finish his contract. Worst case scenario, I bench his butt. So, I mean, that's not a big deal. So, back up in the in, in the NHL, starter in the AHL, star, uh, back up in the NHL, or back up in the AHL, excuse me, and then basically my third goalie. Okay, so that's not too bad. So, we only have one guy left, and then the RFAs will sign, either sign the contract or wait it out. So, okay, I can pause here. Okay. I think that's it. I don't think we really need to do much of anything else. I mean, uh, I feel like Simon to free agency is the move. Let me double check my contracts real quick just to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. I don't think I did. Gauden's been tendered. Darlene's been tendered. Those guys will probably take a minute to sign, but they should sign. Uh, if they don't, I'll go offer my contract in free agency because they're essentially, once they get to free agencies, they're technically free agencies, free agents that if someone offers them a contract, it notifies me, and then I get a chance to match the offer or just let them walk. And depending on what they sign for, I can get compensatory picks. I get picks from the team that took them. So uh, McCarron's going to sign. Yeah, most of these guys are going to sign. I think the only guy that might not sign is Ingvall, and that's one of those guys that if he signs with another team and I can get like a, a pick for him, I may do it depending on what the pick is. Smith, All these other guys should sign as free agency starts, I feel like. If they don't, again... Depending on who they are, I may go make an offer. So, um, yeah, I think we're done. Let's get shit to free agency and let's see who's out there. And then we'll end the video right there. It might be a short video, but that's okay. I've been putting out some long ones, so a short one's not a bad deal. Hagel signs, McCarran signs, Darlene signs. <clears throat> All right. And uh, we have 39 contracts. All right, let's see who free agency's got for us. So, let's see. We're going to go... 
let's go centers first and we want our we don't want any rfa so we're not looking for anybody which we would have to give picks up for so these are all unrestricted free agents so we got claude Giroux, mika zabinajad boone jenner nazem kadri uh ryan strome david Krejci, joe thornton who's old as dirt granlin gets okay I thought it, is he is he a unrestricted okay he's an unrestricted free agent okay that's a that's kind of a surprise Carter Verhage okay so third round Toronto Maple Leafs okay fits four nine two all right uh left wingers oh John Jesus oh man oh uh, remember you remember if you watched any of the other videos at the trade deadline I briefly looked at this guy. Philippe Forsberg and said, man, I'm going to have to resign him. No, I'm not going to trade for him. Man, am I glad I made that decision because $11.15 million for one player. <coughs> Excuse me. See, that made me just choke how much that was. And Johnny Gaudreau wants more. Wow. He does not fit my scheme at all. So definitely would not offer him a contract. But man, so I got Palat. Palat would be a solid player, I feel like but he doesn't fit our scheme. Man, this coach is killing me. He is killing me. Uh, Mikhaev's Hyman. Hyman would be a solid player, I bet. Yep, top six forward lines. Yeah, I'd be a good player for us, but we got to see what, we got to see where our holes are at essentially. So, right wing Pavelski, Kessel's out there, but Kessel doesn't fit. Rust, Niederreiter, Dustin Brown, Palmieri. <clears throat> Excuse me, just hit puberty. It felt like uh, Morgan Riley. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Buff Bufflin. I almost said Buffuglin. Jesus, Bufflin. It's Dustin Bufflin, thirty-six though. Uh, Morgan Riley would be interesting. Ooh, and he fits defensive pairing one. Ooh, okay. But I do have somebody already there. Um, but yeah, not at that price point. Ten point six. That's expensive. Where we need to spend is right here. Frederick Anderson, Tuka Rask, Linus Olmark. Do we take a chance on Linus Olmark? Mark Andre Fleury at 36. Mm, okay. Still an 88 overall. Still got his elite potential. So, I mean, he's still. Uh, 90, 912, 909 save percentage. That's 20 points better than. Or, uh, 20 per, uh, two tenths of a percentage point better than what we had. Because our best goalie last year was 888. So, I mean, that's an improvement. So, maybe we go there. Maybe we go Freddie Anderson. I mean, uh, there's lots of ways to go here. We definitely, definitely need to sign one of these guys that's essentially, if I were going to buy overall, I want, I'd even be willing to take veteran guys like a Tuka Rask, a Flurry, Anderson, any of these guys would be a severe upgrade, but Grubauer even could be an upgrade at 29. Ulmark, do we take a chance on Ulmark? At five years, at 27, 6.25, he's only an 84 overall. That's the same value that Elvis Merz Lincoln's was, but if you look at his save percentage, 925, my gosh, in Buffalo? Wow, that's impressive. 914, oh no, he was on the Devils last year. I'm sorry, he was on the Devils. 925 save percentage with the Devils? My gosh. Yeah, so there are some guys here, and there's Elvis Mers Lincoln's of his 898 save percentage. So, yeah, he was 898. I'm sorry. So, 898, but still a full percentage point below 909. So, just think if we had one percentage point better, how many wins we might have as a result. Plus, he had two shutouts. How many did Mers Lincoln's have? Oh, he had two as well. Did he have two with us? No, he had two. Oh, yeah, he did. He had two with us. Wow, really? He had two shutouts with us? Okay. Missed him in all the other six and seven goal games. Do we go get an old guy like poor Heinrich Lundquist with 918 save percentage? Who did he play for? Boston. Okay, Boston's a little bit better of a team than us, but still. I mean, there's a lot of goalies we could go look at that had pretty solid numbers last year. Toronto, 912 for David Riddick. I mean, that. There's some guys we need to look at, and this is organized by overall right now, but, uh, you know, this is going to be something where I may have to uh, make a decision here. This is going to be tough, but we got to make a decision. We've got to improve our goaltending. Definitely got to sign a goaltender at the very least, and we've got the money to burn right now. So 
Might not be a bad idea to look at some of these free agents and see what we can do uh, to improve this lineup. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, enjoy the content, give us a like and a subscribe. Always appreciated. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you later.